remain willing to share with us important tips and techniques how we will maximize our technology in uh, sharing the gospel. Yesterday, we are enlightened. We are inspired. And those things that we learned yesterday really uh, enlightening and an eye-opener. And so today, once again, Sherwin, no, Sherwin will continue sharing the other things and the, uh, the other topics that uh, most of you are interested. And so we would like to thank him once again that he will be with us. But before we begin, I don't know if my net will suffice this meeting, but uh, I hope that uh, you are healing, hearing me clear. So we have problem here in uh, Sampagita as far as connection is concerned. Yesterday, as I just uh, borrowed my wife uh, Eastern. And so yesterday, I will be using our Globe Internet and the problem with Globe Internet here in uh, Sampagita is not, it's not working well usually. But I hope that uh, this uh, network will suffice and sustain this meeting. So before we begin and before we give again our time to Sir Wynn, let's open our class in prayer. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we come to you once again today. What a joy to see the beauty of the day, to experience once more your protecting hands who guided us throughout the night. We had uh, good night slumber, and today you have awakened us again, healthy and strong. And so we are happy to uh, gather together once again through this platform so that we can learn together, we can enlighten together, and we can be inspired to maximize and to use technology so that the world will be hastened. So we believe, dear Lord, that uh, nowadays we can use every resources that we have and we can take advantage of every available platform that we can use in sharing the gospel. And so as we continue learning some important concept, theories and principles that are relevant and very important for us to use. We pray for a special guidance once again. Give us understanding, dear Lord, and may the Holy Spirit continually inspire us and uh, teach us so that uh, we can be able to apply it for the furtherance of your work and for the hastening of the three angels' messages so that this message will reach uh, in every people according to your plans. And we pray in a very special way for uh, Sir Win as he continue sharing his expertise, sharing with us important concepts related to this digital evangelism. We pray for your guidance for him. And dear Lord, we pray for this uh, special mission that he is doing. We are really inspired that he is using uh, his resources just to help and just to support this uh, type of and this kind of evangelism. So we are hoping, dear Lord, that you will continually bless him in his personal life, even his personal plan. Kindly be with him, Lord, and kindly grant him the desire of his heart. And be with each one of us today, especially the student, and as we listen to him, help us to be more enlightened and inspired today. Forgive us for our sins. And may special protection and guidance be upon us today as we continue our ministry, especially my students who are doing their dissertation. And we are praying for each one of us while we are studying the Bible and sharing it with our friends. And we hope, dear Lord, that we will continue experiencing the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that this work and ministry is not just for the sake of fulfilling the requirements, but above all, we are doing it because we love people to be saved. Thank you, Father, for hearing us and forgive us for our sins. Thank you so much for this great opportunity of learning together. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I don't know if, uh, I think if I will open my camera, the internet will become more slow. So I think I will just remain, uh, I will just keep my camera close. And so today we'll go, we're going to give again our time to Sir Win. Okay, and I hope, and yeah, I think he will share with us some of the topic that uh, uh, we will we not able to cover yesterday. So Sir Win, thank you so much once again for uh, sharing your time and uh, sharing your ex expertise with us today. So we are now giving you again the, the moment and the time for you to continue discussing the rest of the topic.
Parang naka-mute ka pa, sir. Parang, ubali bang dito sa akin ang problem? Hindi ko alam kung nasa aking computer. Hello, check. Ayan, okay na, sir. Ah, ang microphone pala yung nakakaano. Okay, hello, mic test. Okay. Nakikita ko yung aking tunog, pero hindi ko sure. So, naiintindihan na po ako po? Clear na, clear na, sir. <clears throat> so, thank you po, Pastor, for the prayer and for the introduction again. Uh, I would like to thank the, sino ba yung nag-post ng Irwin like yesterday? Hindi ko masyado na, let me share screen po. I understand many people are conserving bandwidth, that's why they are hiding. <laughs> <laughs> They're not turning on their camera. So, <clears throat> uh, Gis Gisil? Gisel, yes, Gisel. Yeah. Oh, nakita Gisel. ko yung post niya. Yeah, he suggested Iruin. I think my friend in Naga City is using Iruin, but my friend in Naga View said Iruin uh, consumes, uh, I'm not sure, yeah? consumes a lot of CPU space, uh, CPU resources, because probably it is acting like... Uh, screen capture. In OBS, they said try to avoid screen capture unless there is no other way. Uh, my friend in Nagaview said OBS Ninja and IP camera is a uh, long, long time ago. That's why I know this one. Yung NDI is uh, the newest, but it only runs in fast computers and in fast cell phones. And the, they promise that it is the latency or latency is very, very small. Dao. But I haven't tried it because yeah, I have to pay. That it's not free. But sometimes it's free. But it, it's only free for several hours, and then they close the store, and then it's has price again. Droid cam is also there. X Split V cam, I V cam, Apple cam, etc. Et so there are plenty of uh, ways to connect your cell phone as a camera to OBS, and you can just Google each of these. Uh, Pero it's very interesting po, no? Kasi imagine everybody comes with a phone and everybody can do this phone and then connect this charger and then you have so many cameras to choose from. The only band, the only thing that will probably be a problem if you have too many Wi-Fi cameras is the traffic to the router or to the OBS computer because Wi-Fi is, uh, ano, it is a public. It's like people are talking and the more people are talking, the less you understand. So that's uh, Wi-Fi. You have to divide the air between all of them. And if the, you if two computers speak at the same time on the same channel, then it costs time because they have to back up, back out, and wait random number of seconds, a milliseconds, and then try to retransmit. And hopefully they don't transmit all at the same time again. So the more Wi-Fi things, Wi-Fi transmissions, the lesser bandwidth and the more in air collisions and so on so that's the i know that's why you can you can experiment with wi-fi and then find out later that it's there is not enough bandwidth if there are too many wi-fi traffic that's why i oh, use sir, sir how about if uh, those people will use their own wi-fi let's say you have your own wi-fi bringing it in the church uh i think it's the same unless you are using different then different uh what do you call this the five gigahertz wi-fi has more uh bandwidth if you all if I, you are all in 2.4 gigahertz you are still hearing each other you are still dividing the the bandwidth um, the, the location even if you are different ssid they are mm -hmm. you're just not seeing each other but the the layer two of the the physical characteristics of the air still you have to divide still the available bandwidth mm -hmm. but if you are using wire you can transmit with all your heart in the wire and the other wire cannot see you so cannot hear that so you have the full bandwidth so pero if you have only few it will work i think it will work very nicely sir josh before he came to hope channel he was doing live stream in his church in bulacan but he, he was borrowing and using the iPhones, several iPhones, and even the switcher because there was no OBS that time yet. It was not popular yet. He was even using the another iPad for switching and for live streaming. 
but iPhones and iPads are very uh, quite So, sir, excuse me again. So, ano yung, how many cameras are the ideal sa live streaming? <clears throat> Actually, depending, uh, <laughs> depending po sa ano, depending on, in, depending on how much uh, equipment, usually it's mm -hmm. the equipment, but if you have plenty of equipment, it's the people who will man the cameras because you have to come early <laughs> to church. I don't know how many people. If ito pa lang characteristic ng media ministry, you have to come two hours or one and a half hour before the church mm -hmm. starts. So in Vesper, if you notice in PIC, we are there at five and mm -hmm. the, it, the, it starts at seven. During morning, we are there at seven or 7.30 and it starts at nine. So you come mm -hmm. one and a half hour early because I have to set up, we have to take out the cameras, we have to set up, we have to troubleshoot, we have to check the sound, check the lights. Etc. It takes long, long time, and kau rin, kau rin ang huli. <laughs> That's why I try to, I try to encourage pastors to do media ministries. But I think there is not enough time for them to do it. Uh, I even if I lend uh, the SLM communication director a camera, because he, your pastor has to preach, has to say hello, has to greet has to do, talk to people, and so on. Sino magliligpit ng, <laughs> ng camera? Mm -hmm. And so, tas maaga pang darating, and usually, uh, yeah, there are so many other things. That's why the the solution is to help train, training, the training. You, you learn, and then you know how to do it, and then you train other people. And actually, the youth really like to do something, because I found out in child guidance, that the children, they are happy when you tell them to do something. If they are not doing anything, they are bored and they will cause trouble. But if they are you doing, you know, in PIC, <clears throat> sabi nila may politics daw sa ano sa media ministry. <laughs> Natatawa ako kasi ibig sabihin gusto nila mag camera, hindi sila nakaka camera. So so everybody wants to. Especially pag nakakachamba kami ng nice shot and then ang ganda-ganda ng, ng itsura sa projector, people come to me, Sir, turuan mo kami mag-camera. So, wali ka dito. So, you just approach, you sit near the camera and, and see what they're doing. And many times, because the cameraman, they, 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 not, they don't all come early. <laughs> if, if there is lack of people near the camera, we will just look for people who already trained and then tell them to sit or hmm. to use it. And alalayan lang ganyan. So, so actually, it's very, it's very much enjoy. Uh, it's fun. Even in week of prayer, ini is scheduled because there are so many people who want to hold the camera. So we have to schedule mm. para hindi sumama yung loob ng <laughs> di makahawak. So uh, the solution is to no, noon sa PIC, parang pinipilit kami nila ano. Dapat noon di tayo alis. Eh, alam niyo naman, pag inassign ako speaker kung saan-saan, siyempre iiwan ako yun. Mas, kahit sino naman pwede mag-camera, yung mag-speaker, mas mahal ganyan para sa akin. So, pero ang solusyon na nakita namin dun is to train. If you train, 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 and you make the training like yearly, regular, because you cannot, these are volunteers, you cannot really require them to be there or to come early. So at least there is a redundancy. If some people don't come, some people come, and etc. So... Some people have appointments, some people are doing something. So if you have plenty of the people who know how to do it, then the, the, the likelihood of people not coming is ano. Pero there are people who are supposed to come early because not everybody will come at 7 o'clock. Many people will come at 9 o'clock. So we, we allocate, a certain general allocates two hours. Just in case all of us don't come, he can set up everything in two hours. <laughs> Pero naawa naman kami dun sa aming boss. Kasi ganun. So... It takes a lot of uh, time to set mm. up. Okay, let's. Uh... So training, kaya po, uh, training is very important, but you want to know how to do it also because. Okay. And I really enjoy this. That's why I like to. Uh, uh, I like others to enjoy also. Five na ang results. So yesterday, oh, ito ang unahin natin. Next. Yesterday we were talking about this. I just want to finish even if it's three points. So mirrorless, yung webcam, ito, uh, three, five. Madali lang yan, ganyan. Ay, sorry po, nakalimutan ko yung, yung tanong ni Pastor. Ilang camera? Mm. Dito sa akin, gusto ko isa lang kasi madali lang. Pero pag sa PIC, uh, maganda yung marami. Yung switcher po kasi usually apat yun. Pero pwedeng kabitan actually ng eight. 
So, yung iba yung sa halimbawa sa basketballan, marami siguro 16 or 12 na cameras kasi iba-ibang angle meron dun sa ring, na ring meron ganyan. But sa sa Hope Channel, sa Hope Channel po halos apat lang ang ginagamit namin. Mm. Kasi apat lang ang input ng switcher. Pero minsan iba yung pang-switch na sa projector dun sa LED screen. Iba rin yung pang-switch sa streaming o sa TV na live. Kasi minsan pag kinukuhaan niyo yung audience, minsan yung reaction para makita mo na nakikinig yung audience. Kasi minsan parang boring na lagi yung preacher. Minsan kukunan mo rin yung audience para may ano, may change para makita mo yung hmm. yung ano tawag dun? yung establishing shot o yung buong arena o yung buong ganun po. Pero pag nakita ng sarili niya yung audience, halba, klinos up niyo hmm. si ganito, nakikinig talagang go take note, ganun. Tapos talagang yung mukha niya, nakikinisan, insan nakikita natin. Minsan ako yung nakataga nag, audience shot sa Hope Channel. Pero hindi nila nilalagay sa LED screen kasi pag nakita mo yung sarili mo dun, bigla kang magugulat nila <laughs> kasi biglang tatago. <laughs> so, so yun, tiyatransmit sa Hope Channel o kaya sa satellite, pero hindi nilalagay sa ano. So minsan may sariling switching yung Ano po? Usually po apat lang. But since mm-hmm. dalawang apat yun, so eight na camera na hakabit, kaya kulang ko lang ang camera nila po. So, uh, depende po. Actually, it doesn't. If you have one camera and you make two cameras and you have two, four cameras, it doesn't really times for your evangelism. That's why I also try to compute. If one camera costs 75,000 and we can, we can help baptize uh, 100 people maybe a year, if I double the camera, does it become <laughs> does it become double? It doesn't become double because you just have more angles and ganun po. So, but if you have many cameras, it's still better because more people are involved, more people more, mm. more are helping and they are happy. And when somebody is lacking, then you can. And then, lalo na dito sa AUP, we want really to teach everyone to do it because when you go out, you know what to do and you know, you know, you learn something and that's useful for evangelism. Okay. You know, sir, I, you, sir, I was, I was encouraged that probably we will require our students in COT to at least to undergo training regarding how they will handle camera so that when they go out, they can even teach other young people in the church if they want to have live streaming o merong ganyang mga style ng worship. Kaya siguro, maganda rin siguro ang aming i-integrate na yung mga, kumbaga hindi man compulsory, sabihin namin mag-training. Kasi meron pala kayong, you have your regular training for students na yes, mga yes. willing to handle camera. Ay di maganda rin siguro itong aming estudyante, eh, hindi man compulsory, magkaroon sila ng idea kung paano mag-ano ng camera para magamit din nila sa hinaharap, sir. Yes po. Mahirap lang po i-schedule kasi maraming uh, working so mm-hmm. usually, uh, but ang ginagawa namin ngayon po, hindi na talaga, pero but we can still do it like uh, Friday afternoon we train or Sunday, but it's there are many working students, so it's very hard to find available time. But what mm-hmm. we do now is, pag may lumalapit dyan, gusto mo mag-camera, sige, uh, turuan kita ganyan. Yung per, parang personal ministries, parang isa-isa lang po, kung sino mm-hmm. lumapit, tuturuan lang, tapos yun, ganun lang, tapos... Tapos yung hindi na po ako lagi nagtuturo. Lahat yung marunong doon, tinuturoan mm-hmm. din namin magturo sa iba. So, yung yung tumatayo na doon, sabi ni, ikaw, mag, marunong ka na mag-camera, mag, mag, mag-aral ka, magturoan mo itong isa. So, yung kulang, <laughs> yun na lang ang supply namin. Parang dumadami rin yung nagtuturo po. Okay. May follow-up pa, Pastor. Thank you for the... Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Very interesting questions po. And uh, nakalimutan ko rin yun. So, uh, yung mirrorless camera, ang price nun ay 35,000. Tapos yung lens na pwede mag-zoom yung katulad ng gamit ko sa sa PSN yung few Sabbath ago, tsaka nung last Sabbath, is 8,000. Excuse sir, excuse sir, for the meantime. Yes. Okay, I think uh, Pastor uh, Amorao is here in our meeting, so we would like to welcome uh, our Dean. And thank you so much, Pastor, for joining us. So, okay, Sherwin, continue. Good morning po. <laughs> <laughs> si Pastor Amorao, marami na rin akong na-record na... I try to record everyone. <laughs> I try to record as many people as possible and try yeah. to make as many preachers as possible to be more popular. And because uh, the, the earlier we can put you in YouTube and in Facebook, the, especially in YouTube, the more hits uh, your video will have. And it's like the more hits, the more views your video has, the more people will uh, still see it as uh, important. Thank so you very go. much, Sir uh, Win-Win. 
I think about that. I'm trying to type my name in YouTube. <laughs> Bakit rin niyo yung pangalan ko doon dahil ni Sir Winwin. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's a great privilege to, to, ano, to, to, ano, to be, ano tawag dyan? Vessel of the truth. Yan. Imagine, I was carrying with my bicycle <clears throat> a video, a USB, uh, with a video, one hour video of uh, Amazing Facts in Davao. They were doing a one month uh, Seminar. And every day I carried a USB going to the satellite station in Silang. And uh, I was driving bicycle sometimes. I was driving. And imagine, hawak-hawak mong ganyan ng alas 6 o ng alas 5 o alas 12. Pagkagabi ng alas 7, you tune into your satellite and the whole Southeast Asia is viewing the file that you brought there every day. So it's very, actually, it's, it's uh, no, masaya ang media ministry. Okay, let's go put back to our <laughs> maraming kwento masyado. <laughs> okay, so yung camera ko na ano, I just want to praise God that even if that camera costs 34,000 brand new, God gave it to me. I found in the FB marketplace, 19,000 lang. May kasama pang microphone na maganda. And then when I came back from buying it, I found out that the, the microphone cost 3,900. So, if you were wondering that cameras are expensive and Servin has plenty of cameras, God gave it to me at lower price, galing sa, parang galing sa langit yung price. And wala man lang kaali-ali ka book, ganyan. So, I don't know. I think uh, the, peop, the angels in heaven are having fun supplying cheap cameras. <laughs> so, ito pong camcorder. Yung sa church po, <clears throat> But if you are doing in a church, mahirap mag-zoom in pag ang camera ay ano, mirrorless. So if, if there is singing and you want to zoom in, mas maganda po yung, ano, yung gantong camera, yung totoong, yung totoong camera na ganto. Because, because you can, there's a zoom. Ayan, zoom. Ayan. The zoom is smooth. Kasi yung, yung, yung parang DSLR or yung mirrorless camera, pag zoom minsan matigas ikutin. So you cannot do uh, very much artistic shots. But it's cheap. This one, if you look at the price in Lazada, it's 238,000. But in the, in, the other, in, ano, in the other stores, it's 180,000 brand new. But I found in FB Marketplace, I'm also teaching you how to find cheap cameras. <clears throat> In, in brand new Saraon, sa Carriedo, it's 180,000 yata ito. But I found in internet, in FB Marketplace, 110. So I told Kuya Johnson, Kuya Jones, may DVX 200 na 110. Puntahan nyo. After two hours, sabi nila, Sir, nabili na namin. Sabi ko magkano? 100. <laughs> Tinawaran pa. May kasama pang tripod, may ilaw, may bag, at saka may microphone. Palagay ko mayaman yung nagbinta natawaran pa nila and after several years he sold it to me for 60 <laughs> pero ako lang daw ang pwedeng bumili <laughs> kasi ayaw niya ibenta sa iba <laughs> kasi lahat ng binibili ko pinapahiram ko rin sa kanila <clears throat> because masipag sila mag ano harus araw-araw sila nag recording and so on so it's uh, worth the ano so next po is uh, yan but it's expensive but you can zoom in and the uh, Lahat na nandito. Actually, if you try to match the functionality of all of this using a uh, DMC G7, it will be very cumbersome. So, lahat ng, so depende kung anong gamit. Kung sa church at kailangan mag-zoom in, I recommend like this. But if you're trying to, in a studio and you want to lower the expense, because imagine nyo, uh, 180,000. Kung, kung DMC G7 gag ang bibilhin, ang dami na nun. You can buy, to, I think, five or more of DMC7 instead of just one uh, big zoom camera just for the zoom. So, i compute din yung wor worth kung anong kailangan gawin. So, there are different cameras for different kinds of uh, purpose. What resolution to stream? Uh, <clears throat> yung Facebook before, even if you give it a 1020 resolution, it will downscale it to 720. But sometimes it just allows 1010 10 also. So actually, why do you have to have a 4K camera when this is the logic of uh, ano, Banahaw? Yung kaibigan ko doon na nag-live stream, si Sir uh, Sige. Sabi niya, naka 720 lang kami lahat kasi 
720 naman yung binibigay ng YouTube, ano ah, Facebook. Oo nga naman. Bakit ka mag 4K kung pwede naman 720? Because the 4K camera is 180,000 but 720 camera is if you can just find any camera there the old cameras ganun din. So depende po kung ano. Uh, but what what I recommend is if you can yung 4K ang bigat-bigat. When I upload a uh, chapel period na 4K, it takes uh, one day to upload. Uh, one day to mm. to edit because yung ang hirap i-edit ng 4K uh, hirap na hirap yung computer nasisira yung go overheat yung computer pag nagrender it takes one day to edit one day to render and then one day to upload and then another day to make to to see it in 4K in YouTube so it's laborious for the computer for the editor for the network etc so usually people just go in 1080 <clears throat> but if you have the bandwidth and the uh, computer and the uh, time you can use uh, 4k it's very clear ang nakaka-addict panoorin kasi ang talas-talas na kasugat yung katalasan ng picture okay next bilisan ko po factors affecting oh many people are uh, interested with this so yung nakakarami po in in my observation of the videos that i put here in youtube you will see that I have 3,700,000 views. And you will see that this month, the viewership is, this will, I'm trying to encourage you. YouTube is free, anybody can put their videos here. And I think all Adventists should be doing this. This month, the last 28 days, 16,800 views. Oh, parang nagbigay ako ng Bible study na 16,000. <laughs> of course, not everybody there, but that's the, I know. What's time? 3,000 hours of viewing in my channel. Oh, kaya, kaya ko ba mag-lecture ng 3,000 hours in 28 days? But in YouTube, if you upload your videos, you you can, people can see. So, anong number one na, na pinaka-popular? Si Kuya Jun na naman. Pero yung 666 niya, number two na lang. Ang mga pagsubok sa buhay, Jun Lumingkit. Nirecord ko lang siya doon sa soro-soro. Yan. At number two ay 666. Oh, this is for the last 28 days. Oh, tumataas si ano, Mike Rivera. Tapos si Mark Finley, nandito na lang siya sa number six. Yung 666 ni Mark Finley, Journey to Eternity, etc., etc., etc. So, ito, dahil sikat yung pangalan niya, Randy Skip. If you upload Randy Skip, Doug Bachelor, or David Asherick, it becomes uh, very popular. If you change the... To the lifetime, you will see in the last uh, since uh, December 5. Ito po, the media ministry is growing, 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 and then bumababa minsan kasi marami na siguro ang kompetensya. But the most popular is still Mike Finley's uh, 666 with 245 views. Mike Finley is very popular. This is Sabbath. You see, Sabbath is very strong also. By the way, I want to just repeat my testimony that in my observations with Capitulo Versiculo, when I was still there, ang pinakamarami daw, kasi nakikilig ako ng testimonies. I'm doing camera, I'm doing audio. I'm listening to the testimonies. I think 80% of the people who come into the church, pag tinanong, anong topic, anong video ang nakapag-convince sa'yo na pumunta sa, na mag-join ng Adventist Church, 80% of them will say that it is the Sabbath topic. About uh, the, ne the next percent is about food, baboy, yun, the Leviticus 11 topic. And yung natitirang 5%, mga 15% yung tungkol sa baboy, uh, no, food. And yung 5% tungkol sa true church. So sabi ko, yung pinakamahihirap na truth, yun parang yun yung ano, maraming hinahakot para sa, na, kung nakakapadeside. So I don't know. The law of the Lord is perfect, uh, converting the soul. So it is. Sa sa nang abena Psalms 19, sir. 193, something like that. 197 po. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Ayan, King James converting New King James. So yung palang Ten Commandments yung Sabbath ay nakaka-convert pala talaga yan kasi yan ang sabi dyan sa ano. So yun po ang mga ano uh, observations. One more thing. So paano dumadami? I think the name of the preacher if it is uh, 
popular, David Asherik, Kuya Jun, Dogba Chilor, yan. If you upload with their name, it's popular. Uh, the topic, yung topic yung pinaka nakikita ko, kasi, you know, yung mga channel po na sikat, whatever you upload, there will be plenty of views if you have millions of subscribers. Pero ako, hindi ako. Sikat, I have only like 14,000 subscribers. So, if I upload a video, you will see that, ano, I have only 20 views or 13 views or 6 views. So it's not the subscriber. But I, why do, why do we have uh, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of views? I think it's the topic. The Holy Spirit is telling people what to type. Their problems, ayun, yung katulad kanina, mga, mga, ano yun? Mga, pro, mga solutions sa problema sa buhay. Yung, number one ngayong month. The Holy Spirit is telling people what to type in their, in their YouTube. And that's why when you title your videos, you title them uh, according to what people uh, type. For example, how to pray. You know how many people type how to pray every month in 2012? 3.3 million. How to be saved? 5.5 million. So there are many people who want to type uh, their questions in YouTube and in Google. And if we title our videos according kung sa ano yung question nila, pero ang laman ng video natin is the content, the answer to their questions. But I, my observation, tignan nyo to, how to pray. <laughs> I changed the title. <laughs> I downloaded Dog Bachelors. By the way, all of Amazing Facts videos, except the, except the movies, are available. Yung sermons, lahat yan download. So anybody can download and upload in their channel. But I changed the title because I know that people are asking questions and I cannot just get the title there. I don't know what title they have, but I want, I look at the topic and then I change the, the title to be the question where that topic is the answer for. And the view, the, ano, the views became two times of the original. I upload the same video, the original title and the video with which I changed the title and the questions. The, this question titled video has two times the view of this original title. So, sabi ko, ganito na gawin ko. I just download all the all the videos and I renamed the title. So, I did that and I created another channel just just for that. So, that is the my in my observation of what was happening. The topic, ito, 666, kasi natatakot yung mga tao and they are curious. So, it has plenty of views. So, Kuya, what Kuya Jun did, <laughs> what Kuya Jun did is, if you look at this video, I said, Kuya Jun, it has many views. So, he researched everything that he can possibly research. And he preached two hours and 24 minutes. Ayan. <laughs> <laughs> two hours and 24 minutes. Nakatulog na ako ng dalawang beses. Sabi ni Kuya Jun, tingnan natin ang picture. Eh, nakatulog na ako. Uulitin niya, mag-explain ulit siya. Tingnan natin ang picture. Sabi ko, parang dalawang beses ko na narinig yung sinasabi niya. Tingnan ang picture. Yung pala, hindi ko napindot yung switcher kasi nakatulog na ako. But there are so many views. If you look here, 91,000 views. Yan, o, di ba? So, ganyan lang. So, he's just copying what you see. I don't know. Okay, so this is just uh, everybody should be preaching and uh, doing this. Okay, let's go to the next one. Pala yung ating kwento. Ah, this one. So topic, uh, it should, it's, I observed that the topic is important. The question, uh, question format. Ano pa ba? And ito pa po. <clears throat> uh, I told you that kami yung una mag-upload ng marka ng hayop. YouTube. So, yung mauna o yung unahan maglagay ng topic is very important, I think. Kasi kung kami yung nauna, kami rin yung maraming views. You know, in YouTube, if you if you see, if you search something, alam ba ito, 7.6 thousand views. Ito, 186 thousand views. Pareho yung topic. Alin ang view nyo? Siyempre yung mas maraming view kasi mas marami nang nanood nun. So, if we, as much as possible, let's put all the Adventist truth in different kinds of dialects as soon as possible because the earlier you put it there, the more credibility you have when they have options to choose from. So yung mauna, we are not the best video, but kami yung nauna, kaya uh, marami na kaming views. One more thing. 
advertisements. <laughs> I don't put ads in my videos, but sometimes there is a song and nilalagyan ng YouTube ng song. Maraming channel naglalagay ng ads, but I try to research should I put ads or not. And I feel like as I'm selling, uh, <laughs> I'm selling kalapati and something and tupa in the temple because I put <laughs> I put this uh, channel for media ministry. Anyway, maybe they know uh, other reference where they can do that. Ano pa yung mga factors affecting religious? So yung title, yung question, yung timeliness, you have to do it uh, early. That's why I'm encouraging everybody to upload their sermons. And next, ang mga three, itong mga three. Picture in picture. Okay, how do you do picture? Oh, yung dami pala. Nasa number three na tayo. Meron po bang tanong? Is there any? Because there are so many three, three, three. I don't know which one to prioritize next. Paket na lang ito. Tapos na natin to. What is nice webcam? Tapos na natin yan. Noise remover for audio. Okay, let me start with this. <clears throat> Ganto po yan. Uh, if you're seeing my... Let me see how you see it. Uh, ito yung zero. Yung, yung audio, mas malakas, mas mataas. Just imagine there's a line like this. And the lower it is, the less the signal, yung voltage ng audio. Yung electric pan na nasa likod ko, I don't know, because I think in... MS Teams, there is a noise remover. So you cannot hear the electric fan, you cannot hear the cricket yes, outside. Sir. <clears throat> so if, but if without the noise remover, automatic noise remover of Zoom and of MS Teams and uh, Messenger, the raw audio, there's always noise. You cannot remove the noise, but the, qual the, the, the quality of the microphone, it depends on the signal to noise ratio. So yung signal, yung totoong tonog, the intentional sound. The noise is the unintentional sound. <clears throat> so, uh, MS Teams, Messenger, video call, and audio call, and the cell phone have all those automatically trying to remove the noise and the background noise. But if you use OBS, you can, uh, it doesn't have it automatically. You have to have, <clears throat> uh, oh, wala, walang nakasaksak. Okay, let me try to plug in the capture. <clears throat> this is very nice, actually. But in theory, we have to understand the theory also. You can add a filter. In OBS, what I do is okay. Dito ko nyari dito. So you, click, you right click and you click filters, and you can add a noise gate. Ito, noise gate, noise suppression. But you have to understand the <clears throat> the theory of this one. So if you look at, at at my hands in the camera, I was telling you that the higher the signal, the stronger it is the higher the voltage and the yung noise na dito pag maingay may electric pan medyo mataas yung noise ngayon, ngayon ganito po ang pag nagsalita kayo gumaganon di ba mas mataas so ang goal natin mapababa yung noise and yung signal yung yung signal lang or yung voice lang ang maririnig ngayon sa OBS meron tayong filter itong filter meron tayong tawag na noise gate Sa noise gate, meron tinatawag na threshold. So, ano pong ibig sabihin ng gate? I'm trying to look at myself in the camera so that I can uh, do my actions. Yung gate, halimbawa, ito yung, ito yung pinakamahina na, ito yung pinakamalakas na volume. Yung gate, pwede mo iset na ganto kataas. So, lahat ng nasa ilalim, pag ang voice, pag ang volume ay nasa ilalim lang, walang nagsaselta, ino-off niya, kinakat. Pero pag nagsalita kayo, yung voice nyo ay malakas. Pag lumampas siya dito sa level ng gate, sa threshold ng gate, ino-on niya yung channel, ino-on niya yung tunog. So pag mahina yung salta, ino-off niya. Pag malakas, ino-on niya. Therefore, parang walang tunog, walang noise. Kasi kaya lang, kailan lang siya nag-on pag nagsasalita kayo. Ngayon, you have to set that uh, threshold. 
this is where you set it in OBS. Yan. So when will it, when will it turn on? So when will it turn off? Ganto. So how fast will it turn on? Attack time. How fast will it turn off? Hold time or release time. So ganyan yan. Paano natin alam kung anong number? Walang ano, hindi natin alam. Subukan na lang. So you can lower it like this. But I don't use this actually. I just remove this. There is an, a more automatic way to do this. And this is a better algorithm. The noise suppression. Ayan, ito. Napakaganda nito. I just turn it like this. And then it automatically removes the, the, ano, the noise. Ito. But you can also use this. There is an older one. Speaks. You can change the level of suppression. Depending again. Yan. So it's very automatic and very good noise suppression. This is what I use. Oh no, this is what sometimes I use this when my computer was still slow. When I before I bought a GPU, I was using this because lower CPU usage. But when I bought a GPU, I use this now for uh, Pastor Habian or anybody who wants to come to my house to record. By the way, uh, you can come to my house to record na po. Just ask the president for permission because there is a rule about neighboring. But I think he got per, uh, Pastor Javian got permission, Pastor Kabasan got permission. And anyway, dun lang naman nag-record sa sala. Ako nandit sa room ko. So in, anytime you want to come, if people are in the campus, not anytime pala kasi may trabaho rin kami. <laughs> okay, next po ay may suppression sa number three pa pala tayo. This one is done. PowerPoint input. I told you yesterday that I was using a cheap uh, capture. Uh, some people, like the people who are preaching Bicol, in, uh, they use the PowerPoint in the same computer where there is OBS. So you can actually uh, do something like this. And then you... But it's very confusing to use OBS and PowerPoint in the same computer because if you are switching in OBS and then yung clicker ay nandun sa OBS, iba hindi pag click ng next ng preacher, hindi mag <laughs> ni next yung ano yung PowerPoint. That's why in PIC, yeah, the PowerPoint computer is separate and the lyrics computer is the lower third is separate and other things. Because when the clicker, when the preacher clicks next and the uh, and ang nakaklick ay yung OBS. Diba itong PowerPoint po? If you have a clicker, if you have a clicker and you click next, it will be like this. But if pinindot ko to, pag pinindot mo ng clicker, hindi sumusunod, hindi, hindi sumusunod yung, yung PowerPoint. So, uh, if you, pero you can do it uh, if, if there is not enough computers. But if you have uh, a, a separate PowerPoint computer, it's better to just connect that uh, PowerPoint computer and with a capture, nasaan yung capture? I have the skip. Yung 300 peso na capture, ito po. <laughs> this 300 peso capture card, you just connect an HDMI cable from the other computer and you plug in your OBS computer and you can see the PowerPoint in your OBS from the other computer for 300 peso. Just buy this. Whatever you see in Lazada, just click and then you can return it after one. Yan. Subukan nyo lang agad. Oh, katulad po niyan. 288. Kahapon mas pura. So, you can just buy any of this and get your PowerPoint into your computer. Next topic. Uh, where is my browser? Binibilisan ko po kasi. I'm recording so that we can review. You can watch uh, later. Noise remover, PowerPoint check, live streaming check. About this one. Picture in picture. Yeah, this is nice. So I'm mean just going to create a new scene here. Uh, see, yeah. So for example, I try to, let's pretend there are cameras, but we are actually just going to put uh, videos. I'm going to select a media source. 
And let's find some videos here. Uh, maybe this one. We'll borrow one video from again. Uy, but walang lumalabas. Ayaw. About this one. Okay, maybe it takes a different format. Let me try here. Uh, my tunic girl will be you. Okay, if Naglulo, maybe we should try restarting the OBS. Okay, kaya walang lumalabas sa dito. Okay, maybe we will just try a picture. Delete, 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 remove. Let's just pretend there's a video, but we will put a picture anyway. Anyway, we are just demonstrating the... And let's steal somebody's picture. Okay, for example, this is the, I can resize this by pressing shift in the keyboard and pulling like this. For example, that is the PowerPoint, yeah, PowerPoint, welcome. And then we make another scene and then we will put the power, the same PowerPoint. But we are going to like what I do in Pastor Hapien's presentation. But we are going to add, I'm adding pictures instead of the video, yeah? Because I did not connect the, <clears throat> let's make another uh, scene here. For example, ito. And for example, these are the pictures. Oh, yeah, and this, so this is what you call a picture in picture. I'm not very artistic, so this is all I know. I can just put one here, one there. Maybe we can send this to the back. Order, send to move to bottom, something like that. So you can put pictures and animations and video sources, live videos from the capture device. <clears throat> so this is picture in picture. In By the way, in the Anopo, in the Atem television switcher, It doesn't support scaling of picture in picture. Itong switcher na 50,000 peso, hindi yan pwede mag picture in picture. Itong mga 200, itong mga ano, 150,000 na switcher, pwede siguro. But in OBS, you, there is no limit of the number of picture in picture you can do. You can just put as many videos, as many things moving, as many pictures in your screen, and you can just switch them like this. Oh, di ba? So if I duplicate this, <clears throat> ito yung PowerPoint lang. Ito yung picture in picture na nasa likod yung isa. Tapos ito, ito, paliitin natin yung PowerPoint kasi appeal na ito. Ito naman yung picture. Yan, yan, nag a na siya. Tapos iligay natin yung ganyan, tapos iligay natin yung ito. Tapos, gawa pa tayo ng isa. <clears throat> Duplicate. And then, ito naman, tago na natin to. Tapos, i-full screen na natin to. So, I can just be... Okay. And when I want to switch, I ha just have a multi-view window. Okay, so pag pinilit ko dito, oh, welcome! And then... He is preaching and explaining and trying to read the PowerPoint. And then when the appeal is going on, I just click this one. And when we don't need to see the PowerPoint, we just click this one. And yeah, ganda, di ba? So it's just a switcher na. You have a switcher that can do more than what you can do in these expensive hardware switchers. The disadvantage of this OBS is that it's a little bit delayed. So if you put your output of your computer to the projector, when you are singing, ganyan, nahuhuli yung video dun sa projector. 
kaysa dun sa kanta. Sa PIC medyo na huhuli rin because there's a delay in the camera, the delay in the conversion, the delay in the switcher, the delay in the projector. But if you use OBS, it's more delayed. But if you're just live streaming, you don't need real-time video. You can be delayed half second, it's okay. Yan. So you have a switcher for free. Yan po ang picture in picture. Next. Uh, number three, hands-on. <laughs> Pumunta po kayo sa PIC kung gusto natin ng hands-on. You come Friday 5 o'clock, 2 hours before, or Saturday 7 o'clock, and you say, you approach us and you approach us and tell us that you want to learn. And we will be very happy to teach you and to... By the way, it takes some time to learn. First, you, you observe how we do it, and then you we orient you with what the controls of the camera, the zoom, how to turn it on, how to use the rings, the focus ring, and the zoom ring, and the white balance, and how to look at the monitor like this, and paano mag loop at paano magtago, and basically those things. And then we will, we, and how to listen to the technical director, because the technical director is the one choosing the shots. So there are many cameras, six or four cameras or five cameras. So if the technical director says camera two, uh, medium shot. Oh, so what is medium shot? What is wide shot? What is uh, two shot? So we orient you also. But actually, you can all read that in Media College. I need the college then. Yeah, most of those things I read here. So this is not a very fancy uh, website, but it has all of the basic advertisement. It has about camera tutorial, shots and framing. Ito yung important. Kasi you want to know what is a good shot, extremely wide shot, very wide shot, wide shot, middle shot, medium close, close up. So extremely close, cut in, cut away. So the technical, if you have your earphone, the technical director director will say, paano nga pa, pa medium yung picture or yung kumakata, etc. So you, you will want to know what kind of shot they are requesting. Ayan po. So you can learn about audio here, about lighting, about uh, graphics, computers, etc. here. Okay. So next. I hands on. So just come to PIC, or if you have plenty, I can put uh, in. We can also come to, but usually we want because we, we can come to your classroom if there is if there is face to face. I think wala pa naman face to face, but we can do it in PIC. So this time you can come to PIC. You cannot, I think, uh, hold a lecture or something. Ito pang sunod ay process. Oh, this is about audio, I think. So, why does it take one hour to set up audio, one hour to set up video, and uh, to troubleshoot live stream? Because there are so many things that is complicated. So, uh, in audio, uh, of course, it starts with here. It it goes into a preamplifier. It goes to an equalizer in the with high, mid, low in the mixer, and it goes out to the computer or to the sound system and then or to the computer and use the internet but in the we have cabling this cable is uh, unbalanced but i told you yesterday that the xlr cables it's balanced so we can professionally transmit audio and it is less susceptible to electromagnetic interference or emi and you are uh, uh, beside other EMI sources, electromagnetic interference sources. So the solution to, to uh, EMI shielding is shielding. That's why you see some cables inside. When you open the cable, there is a foil that uh, that uh, no, that's around the cable. So the foil can shield. It's called a shield. Or yung braid. Yung braid, mas marami yung naka, ano, naka sa lapid na kable dun sa labas mas protected siya sa electromagnetic interference plus yung signal ay yung balanced by the way it's very confusing when you say balanced audio 
so because we are confused. Is it the left and right? No, balance is, means that for one signal, you have two wires. You have three wires, including the ground. Pero yung left and right, the left is another signal. The right is another signal. So if you have, if you, if you see the, you know, the connector from the audio mixer going to the amplifier, you have a left signal with three wires and you have a right signal with three wires. So when we say balance na left and right, that's a different kind of balance, kind of balance. from the balance that is balance transmission. The balance transmission, you in one signal, you use three tables. X is the ground, one is the lives or the main signal, and the number three pin is for the reverse of the main signal. And dun sa mixer, binabaliktad yung reverse so that the noise will cancel itself. I was just reviewing what was yesterday and trying to differentiate because kahit sa PIC, matagal namin pinagdidebatehan yung balance, kung ano ibig sabihin, but the internet so so, <clears throat> so, ano pang next? Or the process, I was thinking about that. Because most of the time, the audio is very difficult to to solve, di ba? Yung noise, usually may hum. Mm, ganyan. Bakit nag -hum? Because our electricity is 60 hertz. If you connect one audio there, and you connect one audio here, it's different kasi yung, yung 60 hertz, kapunta doon, pag, pag hindi sila magkalapit na extension, may difference yan kasi electrons travel. Eh pag magkakabit na ganyan, tapos yung wire mo ng audio, magkalayo ng saksakan, o magkaiba ng saksakan, minsan hindi sabay yung, ano, yung eh, umuugong. So, Anyway, pwede mo naman patahin you can sa OBS or you can solve that using an isolator. So, an isolator is something like this. Oh, mas mabuting ipakita na lang dito sa Lazada. <clears throat> Yan. If you, have, if you have a car and umuugong lagi yung input, you can just buy this 280 isolator and yung sinasaksak niyo yung cellphone na naka-charger, hindi na siya upugong. But in the professional audio, they use a DI box. The DI box is like this. It connects an, the guitar, the organ, something like that. Na using Because most guitars and most organs of the electric pianos don't have a balance. But most big uh, audio mixers have a balance. So how do you convert that? You can just connect it without DI box, pero uugong or there is noise. So to buy a DI box, ganto, most audio, if you rent an audio from uh, professional audio people, they will connect your organ or your computer or your uh, guitar using a DI box. Ganyan ang price po niyan. So 1,000, there is a, yan. So that helps the balance and the unbalanced uh, version. Next, ano pa ba yun nandito? Picture in picture. <clears throat> Yan, so yung cable papunta sa uh, audio mixer. Uh, let's just look at a picture of an audio mixer na malaki. Ito na lang, sige lang. Ayan. So, dito po sa ibabaw, dito sinasaksak yung mic or yung instrument or yung computer. Ang sinaka-ibabaw po dito is gain. Ayan. Gain is how much will the pre-amplifier increase. By the way, before, why do we need gain? Because there is mic level, line level, and speaker level signals. And they are different uh, voltages. Yung mic level, yung lumalabas sa microphone, saan yung microphone? Yung lumalabas sa microphone, yung may camera, is 2.5 volt, uh, millivolts. Yan. Kung yung microphone, 2.5 millivolts ang lumalabas. Pero, Yung mixer, ini-increase niya sa 3.3, uh, uh, 300 millivolts. Ayan, consumer. Yan yung earphone. 
Pero yung professional na 1 volt, 1.2 volt. So, if you try to connect your microphone, or if you're, you connect your output of your cell phone to a mic input, masyadong malakas and be distorted yung maano. So, that's why you, you have to turn down your gain. <clears throat> if you connect a laptop or a... Tawag dyan? And if a, a cell phone to the mic input, you have to turn down the gain. If you have, if, if you connect a microphone, you have to turn up the gain. Yan. So, para hindi siya mag-clip. Ngayon, meron pong ilaw dyan. A clip. Ayan, pick. Dito may dyan. Pick. P-E-A-K. Pag nag-ilaw yung pick, ibig sabihin, masyadong mataas yung ating gain dito. Pag nag-ilaw yung clip, ibig sabihin... Sumusubra dun sa kaya nung, ito, ganito. Sumusubra yung signal dun sa kaya nung circuit. Kaya itong ulo, itong pinakataas, napuputol. And pag napuputol po yan, hindi maganda ang tunog. Nagig siyang parang square. Yung dulo niya, square. Kasi hindi na nga kaya ito. So, you have to turn down your, uh, ano, your uh, that it will not clip. So the technique is to turn up your gain as much as possible so that the strongest signal will not clip. <clears throat> Why do you have to turn it as much as possible? Because you don't want your signal to be near the noise. There is always noise. You want your signal to be as far as possible to the noise, but it doesn't clip. Clipping is when your preacher shouts and then like, it stop because it's too high. So you find, <clears throat> that's why I tell the preacher, can you please try to shout because I'm trying to look for the clip level and I try to sinasagad ko hanggang hindi mag-clip para mas malakas yung tunog. <clears throat> so after you, you tune the gain, papasok na yan dyan, then you can control the volume. The volume is how much you are sending to the to the outs. Yan. We have uh, 20 more minutes to go. And then you expand your gate. <clears throat> A while ago, I told you this is the most amazing thing in audio. Before, one of the theology students asked my help. And then the uh, 1,000 missionary did not lend them equipment. They only lend a guitar equipment. So, napabili ako ng gato. So, ang problema nitong uh, my friend who is COT student before. This is how he preaches. <clears throat> he's going to, he's going, mahilig siyang bumulong. You know what? Like this, like this. And then big lang si go. And later, and so, so you, ang ako nagoojo. <laughs> Pag nagbubulong siya para marinig because faith comes by hearing. Tinataas ko para marinig yung bulong. Tapos mamaya si si na siya ilawa ba ako na naman yung bulong? Ganon sabi ko mahirap yata itong ginagawa ko kasi hindi ko alam kung kailan sa bubulong at kung kailan sa si si go. So I adjust na ganon. Masisira yung audio ni Amen o mabibingi kami kasi aman lakas ng audio system na nahiram ko. So, I found out in my research, meron palang tinatawag na gate expander at compressor. Ang trabaho ng gate, na I described it a while ago already, yung mahihinang tunog, pinuputol niya, yung noise. So, nakapatahinik natin. Akala natin ang linis-linis ng audio. Yung expander, yung below ng threshold, hindi niya pinuputol. Hinihinaan lang niya. A while ago, I was telling about uh, yung, yung noise reduction. Diba? Yung gate, lahat ng nasa baba, pinuputol niya. Yung expander, lahat ng nasa baba ng threshold, binabawasan lang niya ng ilang percent. Yun yung expander. Ngayon yung, yung compressor, lahat ng nasa ibabaw ng, ng threshold, by the way, the gate is a different device, a different function, and the compressor is a different function. So in the compressor, you also have the, let me see myself in the camera if I... Yan. So ito yung ito yung uh, ito, ito yung pinakamahinang signal, ito yung pinakamalakas na signal. I'm looking at myself in the camera. And if ganto yung boses ng preacher, ganto yung sigaw niya, ganto yung gulong niya, ito yung electric fan. So you want the, the gate or the expander to be here because the electric fan sound is below, but the whisper of the preacher is here and the shout of the preacher is here. If the shout of the preacher is here, it will clip distorted. So you try to lower the gain so that pero paano pag yung bulong niya mas malakas pa yung electric fan. <laughs> Yun ang problema. So you have to lower the, the ano 
the threshold of the gate or the expander. Okay, now next function is the compressor. Yung compressor is a different uh, device, a different uh, circuit, but sometimes it's the same device, but different circuit. It may threshold din yung compressor. What happens with the threshold is everything that is under, hindi niya pinapakialaman as is. But everything that is over the threshold, binabawasan niya ng lakas. So pag sumigaw si Kaibire, imbis na tatama dun sa, dun sa, ano, dun sa taas, babawasan ko, kalahati lang. So lahat ng lumampas dito sa threshold, kalahati lang ang papalusutin. So lahat ng pwede ko iset dito, kahit pag gano'n siya kalakas sumigaw, hindi tumatama dun sa, dun sa bubong. Ito yung bubong ng webcam, di ba? Hindi tumatama dun sa clip. Pero yung bulong niya, pwede kong taasan yung gain. So I, I increase the gain so that his whisper, my friend uh, Simon's whisper, will be strong and audible. But when he shouts, everything that is above this, I divide it by four or by eight. So his whispers become strong and his shouts are not very strong. I'm getting now. So you can do that automatically with a device called uh, Dynamics. Gate compressor. Uh, actually, I can just pull out one here. It looks like something like this. So we have 811. This is the this is the most important, I think, device in audio. But many people don't understand. That's why I want to explain. So we have the gate. Let me check myself if you see me. Oh, maybe I will not share. So that must be the picture. Ko. So ito yung, uh, pag nakapindot siya, gate. Pag hindi nakapindot, expander. Ito yung threshold. Tapos ito yung, Compressor. Ito yung threshold ng compressor. Gano kataas yung yung threshold bago siya mag-divide, ah, magbawas ng volume. So, yung ratio, lahat ng lampas dun sa threshold, babawasan niya ng 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 4 is to 1. So, pag lumampas ng apat, isa lang papalusitin. Ganun. So, the more threshold I put on my friend, the less he can shout, he can destroy the sound system. So, this is the attack the release and the gain. Yeah, so this hindi ko na kailangan bantayan ganun whoever is preaching. So we can make the whispers strong and we can make the shout uh, weaker and galing. So this is what you call a compressor, a gate and uh ano sana yun. So by the way, this device, sorry, hindi pala ako na share screen. When I bought this device it solved that uh, the challenge with the preacher who was who wants to whisper and who wants to shout. All professional audio people have this because they want to protect their systems from too much audio. Sometimes hindi ma control yung galing sa laptop, yung galing sa mic, etc., and galing sa music and galing. So we they, they protect the their systems with this. One time I destroyed the many of the speakers in PIC <laughs> and intentionally and we put that uh, for protection okay next is uh, I think there's one more thing I forgot there we are in audio and ito ito ang price pala nito po I I think it's 6,000 peso but if you do digital audio, it's cheaper. That's why I recommend digital mixers. But it's very... In, uh, yan. Itong digital audio mixers. All of the channels, ito kasing yung analog audio mixer. EQ lang yan. Ayan. Ito, 3,500 na mixer. There's gain. There's an EQ, na tatlo, and there's volume. There's left and right and aux. But in digital, so this is 3.5. And if you want to connect a compressor uh, gate on all the channels, you have to connect it in the insert. So every channel, 6,000, uh, 3,000 pesos because this is a two-channel uh, mixer. 
So, but if you use the digital audio mixer, you don't have to buy the, I know, you don't have to buy this because all of the channels automatically have this. That's why most of the mixers I buy now are digital mixers. Ang problema ng digital mixer usually is walang controls. You control it with the app. You control it with the iPad, with your iPhone, with your laptop. Ang maganda nito, many people can be controlling the net, the, the mixer, even remotely. Nandun ka sa stage, ikaw ang print, preach pero you can control your mixer. Ganito yung uh, ginagamit nila sa Pasay, ganito yung ginagamit nila sa Nagaview, pero sa PIC, masyado pang komplikado daw para gamitin ng mga lahat. So, pero pag nasira na siguro yun. Maganda nito kasi maraming pwedeng gumamit ng mixer at the same time. So, pwedeng bantayan mo. Tige, isa kayong bantayan. Bantayan mo yung mic niyan, bantayan mo yung... And you can see the signal like this. Okay, we are quickly running out of time. Okay na yan. Yung ibang three. Itong video setup, usually you can just uh, go to mediacollege.com. Basic editing... Oh, the software I recommend for video editing is DaVinci Resolve for only one reason. It's free. <laughs> Thou shalt not steal. So we don't have to pirate and uh, be, guilty, be guilty of copyright because DaVinci Resolve is free. You can download it from the internet and it, it can edit 4K and so so much so good in color correction. Light, yan, mas maganda, mag, mas mura ang ilaw. Kasi 6,000 peso lang yung ilaw, you can make uh, an ugly camera, nice, you can give an ugly camera, nice picture by just buying light. But if you have uh, not enough light, you need a very expensive camera to have a nice picture. So I said, mas mabuting magbili ng ilaw kaysa magbili ng mahal na camera. Kasi mas mura yung ilaw. Uh, this is the for audio feedback for feedback, you just try to put the mic as far as possible from the uh, speaker. Clipping, I discussed hum, noise, interference. And okay, I think we discussed already this one for the number two audio. Okay. In PIC, it's very difficult, especially if there is no people, because it's big. Like reflect kung saan saan yung kahit na ganun ganun na yung bubung at saka yung mga pad, yung mga posts ay may. May foam din sa likod ng mga kahoy. Mal, dahil malaki, nagre-reflect sa floor. Pero pag maraming tao yung PIC, lalo na yung gym, kahit dalawa lang kayo doon, pag dalawa lang kayo, hindi kayo magkaintindihan kung magkalayo kayo. Because nagre-reflect, nagbabounce sa floor, and kung, kung ano sa mga balik. So, pag nagsalita kayo, yung direct na vo voice, plus, pero pag malayo, yung voice mo kasi kung saan saan nagbabounce. Pagdating sa tayo ng kausap nyo, hindi sabay-sabay dumarating. Kasi iba-ibang distance pinanggalingan ng reflection. Kaya ang hirap maintindihan. So, but if kung finster lang, hindi masyado different yung timing kasi maliit yung lugar. So, yung ganun po ang mga problema sa malalaking venue. Pero pag nasa field kayo, there is no reflection. It doesn't come back. Ang linaw-linaw pag nandun kayo sa soccer field. So, pero pag maraming tao, maraming nababsorb ng mga damit at yung ano. So, hindi nagbabounce. Kaya madaling maintindihan pag puno ng pathfinders yung AUP gym. Ayan. Ano pa po? Ear training. And that one we cannot do online very much. A camera. This camera, they are computers. There's a sensor. The, se the processor gets the video from the sensor. It does compression. It sends it out via HDMI. It saves it in the SD card. So all the cameras are now computers. What is the codec? It's a code decode. If you are using MP4, MP4 is the codec. If you are using H.264, it's how you encode and decode. Code deck. Encode and decode. File format, you can use MOV or uh, MP3 or MP4. That's how you store the codec in the file. Uh, noise. Ah, it's a video. Ito. When you say dynamic range, what is the darkest thing that the camera can see? contrast with the brightest thing. Yung ibang camera mura, pag kunti lang ilaw, hindi mo nakikita yung nasa dilim. Pero yung mahal na camera, kahit na may nakatutok ka sa araw, nakikita mo pa rin yung tao. So, malaki yung dynamic range niya. 
color saturation, yung mga professional camera, you can adjust the color saturation. Sa PIC, kaya mukhang maganda yung picture. Sinasagad namin lahat yung kulay. Kaya yung pula, mas pula. Yung green, mas green, etc. And matching camera, sometimes you see us putting a white uh, cloth or white paper and we do the white balance. When you white balance cameras, you try to cal calibrate na yung red, green, at blue nila ay pantay dun pag nakatutok sa white. So pag tinutok namin lahat yung camera dun sa white, na white dapat yun, gagawin nilang mukhang white lahat yung white na yun na tinutukan. Yun ang white balancing, matching the cameras. Okay, time na po. <laughs> Alin nag-alarm na? Uh, the rest, maybe you can just Google and uh, ask me personally or come to PIC and, uh, or invite me again some other time. Po. Are there any questions? Ano pa ba yung mga well, thank you for your expertise with us. Okay. Mahirap tandaan lahat, but uh, after hearing these things, at least ay meron kaming na ay, maraming Palang isa alang alang, ha? especially para kahit yung mga sounds at uh, ano ay maging maayos lahat. Maganda yung mga, yung pwede palang gawin ganun, na yung controlled yung sigaw ng tao at saka yung mahina ay magrarinig talaga. Ayan, ganda. Alright. So, Pastor, Pastor Romarao. Can I say something? Sige po. Okay. Siguro mag-off na lang ng video, Pastor. Parang kulang yata ang signal. Hello? Yan. Yeah. Okay na po, Sasa. Wala ako. No, wala ako? Uh, rinig na po, rinig na. Pastor, pwede pong i-off mo yung, yung video para mas uh, lumakas yung signal. Okay. okay. Ang aking takeaway lesson dito sa natutunan ko. Hello, ang aking sabi ko interested in media ministry. Uh, kung babasahin nyo ngayon yung devotional, ang binabasa ko ay, ye shall receive power. Nakita ko ang kahalagahan ng, ng ganito. Kasi sinabi niya kanina, yung sa isang 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 oras na halimbawa na sa video, 16,000 ang nakakita kaagad. In the last days, Yung mga nakapanood sa ating media ministry pagdating ng Sunday, no, maalala nila yung mga nakita nila eh. Kaya you, you produce. At ang isang takeaway take lesson ko ay dapat pala ay catching ang title. Simple, practical, at catching para pag nag-search ang mga tao, mapapanood ang inyong mga video. Again, thank you very much, Winwin. So mahalaga pala yung question form Pastor Win, na realize ko na yung palang question form na topic ay mas maganda pala yun. Kasi usually yung natanong ng tao pag nag-search nga. Tama nga naman. Ayan. So any reaction from the rest of the members of the team sa mga students natin? Any reaction? Kung meron pa bang question para kay Sir, si Sir ABC. Ayan. And then we will request Pastor Amoral to close the class in prayer and of course to pray for Sir Win. So one or two reaction from the students? Uh, by the way, I don't know everything. Usually when, when I do media seminar, I learn from the other people's experience because it's so many things. Uh, it's actually just, I'm just relaying what I learned from other people. And some, some students also know other things that we don't know. So it's just an exchange of information. Pasapasahan lang tulungan. Okay, so Pastor Amaro, can you can you please uh, pray for the class? Yes, students are still busy in their different ministries in the area. Yeah. And of course, yeah. let's pray for Sir Win. Before I pray, once again, thank you very much, Sir Win, sa iyong burden and your concern na maturuan ang ating mga College of Theology students. This is a milestone. This is uh, another milestone in the College of Theology eye-opener. We can see... How important ang tawag nila ano digital ministry nowadays talagang ito na ang ito na ang kwan 
Kumbaga ay trend. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, you will be our partner uh, not only today but in the coming days. Kasi gusto nating maturuan ang ating mga kabataan understanding the role of technology in the proclamation of the three angels message especially doon sa tinatawag na last day events All right uh, and so uh, through our media ministry hindi natin alam kung hindi natin makikita ang bunga perhaps immediately All right pero pagdating ng loud cry makikita natin ang bunga ng lahat ng ating mga Inihasik, yan. Lahat ng ating inihasik ay makikita natin ang bunga, mga kapatid. Now, uh, uh, hopefully, ay na, na, marami tayong naging enlightened one na liwanagan. <laughs> many uh, have been enlightened and many have been inspired by today's... Uh, Sherwin, ang sabi ko dito ay Bigeography Seminar. <laughs> Tama ba? Parang videography seminar to eh. Kaya halo, yun halo, na. Halo-halo na, halo, na po. Halo-halo na. Kaya pero ang pinaka-general na pagbibideo at saka kasi kasama na yung sa mga lighting at saka sa mga sound. So in our future reference, we can call this video, videography seminar under the tutelage of Professor Win Pasamba. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Dear God, our loving Father, nagpapasalamat po kami sa ministry ni uh, Sir Wynn sa aming mga estudyante sa umagang ito. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa burden at enlightenment na inyong ibinigay. Alam namin, Panginoon, na nagtutumulin ang panahon at tatapusin po ninyo ang inyong bananlagawain at amin pong naiisip ang malaking role na gagampanan ng ganitong uri ng paglilingkod. Kaya sana nga po inyong bigyan ng lalo pang enlightenment, inspiration, and empowerment ang aming mga estudyante upang makapagsagawa in the future ng mga worthwhile video presentation. Pwede nilang may upload of good quality, sasamahan pa ng kapangyarihan ng banal na espiritu upang maraming tao po o Diyos ang mabigyang babala Pabigyan ng uh, pabalita ng katotohanan at sa tamang panahon o Diyos, gumawa sila ng pagpapasya sapagkat sila ay nahasikan ng butil ng liwanag at ng katotohanan. We pray, Father, that uh, you will continue the ministry of Sir Wynn and uh, you will use him more and more for your honor and glory. And we pray, Father, that you will bless also our students who in one way or another, they are doing their best to share the good news, the light, and the truth to many people uh, in their community. Oh Lord our God, we pray for their teacher, Pastor Kadao, as he leads this class. And may it be, Father, that your peace and grace will continue to be with us. Ingatan po ninyo kami, Panginoong, patuloy sa pandemic na ito, higit sa lahat. Ilayo po ninyo kami sa tukso at pagkakasala, palaguin sa biyaya at kabanalan. Ito po ang aming dalangin. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Pastor. So, the student, please remain for a while, the students. And, uh, of course, picture, picture. Pastor, Pastor Amora for joining us. Opo, nag-picture na po ako. Ah, may picture na. Very good. good, Opo. good. So, thank you, Pastor Amora, for uh, joining with us. And, of course, for Sir Win for... Uh, sharing his time and sharing his expertise, inspiring each one of us today in our meeting. So, thank you so much, Pastor Win.